As a man, you have a lot of responsibilities in life, man. No matter what it is, any obstacle, any mountain, any hill, any bump in the road, you don't let nothing stop you, man. Investigation. We begin with Kelly with what she's learned about Gregory McMichael, and that's not all. Kelly? Yeah, at 5 o'clock, I told you that the Attorney General was now trying to open a DOJ investigation and GBI investigation into prosecutorial misconduct on the part of the Brunswick District Attorney and another district attorney involved in this case. Now we've been digging through the personal f- personnel file of Gregory McMichael, who worked here at the Brunswick District Attorney's Office, and found that DA Jackie Johnson intervened on his behalf before when he was, when he was having serious issues with his training and certification. The former law enforcement officer retired from the office in 2019. Personnel files obtained by the News for Jack's I-Team today show in 2014, Chief Investigator Greg McMichael and his boss, DA Jackie Johnson, learned he was not properly certified to be a law enforcement officer after failing to maintain annual training hours with Georgia Post. Specifically, McMichael lacked firearms qualification and use of deadly force courses. A memo inside his file show McMichael said he knew he had been behind in hours, but recently discovered that he had not had arrest powers since January 2006. In the 2014 letter about the situation, an investigator told DA Jackie Johnson, quote, in three of the years listed, Greg failed to qualify or have the use of force training, and that because he had not had arrest powers since 2006, liability of improper actions by Greg would fall on him, the district attorney's office, and you personally, referring to DA Jackie Johnson. McMichael was ultimately granted a waiver from Georgia Post after Jackie Johnson personally addressed the council on his behalf. After Post granted the waiver, Johnson wrote the director saying, this situation has been a great embarrassment to me and investigator McMichael and had negatively impacted her office. Now, let's take a listen to what your president had to say about the case. Listen closely. He uh, looked, I saw the picture of him in his tuxedo. It was so beautiful. I mean, he looks like a a wonderful young guy. Uh, Would have been a wonderful, uh, I mean, just a wonderful guy. I think it's a horrible thing. I think it's a horrible thing. Now, with that being said, as you know, they're studying the case very carefully. They're interviewing everybody involved and... We'll see what happens. To me, uh, it's a very sad thing. I spoke to uh, a number of people that are very much involved in it. I've been following that one very closely. It breaks your heart to watch it. It breaks your heart. And certainly the video was a uh, was a terrible looking video to me. But you have a lot of people looking at it. And uh, hopefully uh, an answer is going to be arrived at very quickly. But it, it's something that is heartbreaking question about the case if i could ask it the, the specific question i have is you said that there are possibly are things that happened that 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 were not recorded on the tape could you just expound on what you mean by that and your thoughts yeah. on what- well i saw the tape and when they moved left i don't believe when they moved left outside of the tape uh nobody saw what was going on nobody saw it. it's an empty spot on the tape i guess now do they have additional tapes i hope but I will say that it's something that, uh, based on what I saw, doesn't look good. So- a hundred rounds to keep them ducking down. We should get this 16 in his mama out. And I put it on my, I swear to God. I catch you slipping, that's the day that I'm going to end the nigga. Ain't no pretending, I'm in it to finish. We got a legacy, that's something that never diminished.